in June of 1971, when flying a regular mission at Edwards, I suddenly got a had an engine explosion followed by a fire warning light. Bad not too bad a picture for 34 wind. miles away. Wind. Variable 180210 degrees, 10 gust, 18. Roger, I'm going to have to make a right turn. To, I'm having to use burner to keep the speed up on the good inch. You can see the fire coming out the right engine. As the film progresses, you'll notice the fire gets bigger and bigger. When you see the ejection, you'll see the back seat radar operator go out first and then followed approximately three or four seconds later by myself. Order 5 Edwards. 7 2 Bravo, we go to the Approximately uh, over Boron, turning inbound for landing. The fire burned through the hydraulic lines, and I lost my hydraulic Dutch pressure. Dutch Mobile 1, Dutch Bravo. 388, unable to issue a departure release this time. 88 Romeo, orbit to the east over there. Emergency in progress. Do not cross the final approach to Duke. When I lost my hydraulic so, pressure, the control closed up, and I left me no, no choice except to bail out. Tower, sport. Dutch 72, tower. There appears to be flames coming out from the right side of the aircraft. Support, we have you on TV. It appears to have uh, something burning up the left side. As you see the ejection sequence, we have an actual rocket motors underneath the seats that propel us out of the airplane. on his knee. Attention all aircraft in the Edwards area. The aircraft YF-12. The crew has ejected from the aircraft. The aircraft is over the east lake shore at this time in a right turn. It was a sick feeling watching that beautiful airplane go crashing into the earth like an atom bomb. still in it. This young fellow on my left is Major Billy Curtis. He was my radar operator in the back seat. We landed in our parachutes not far from Highway 58 where a passerby who saw our descent drove over to see if we were all right. I had scooped up a mouthful of sand while being drugged by the parachute, but otherwise I felt reasonably well. That night, however, I really felt the effects of the landing impact. I clutched the walls and hung onto the door handles trying to make it down the hallway to the bedroom. In the morning, I didn't really expect to be able to get out of bed. I, I figured I'd be so stiff I couldn't walk, but actually, I felt much better. Uh, right after the <clears throat> bailout, they took me into the hospital for a quick checkover. While I was there being checked, I got a commander from General Bob White of X-15 fame telling me that he'd just received word from ADC headquarters that I'd been promoted to full colonel. He said, I wasn't supposed to tell you this till tomorrow, but uh, just so you'll feel better about the loss of that airplane, I'm telling you now. <laughs>